In this video, I will discuss general safety guidelines for the proper storage and use of our aerosol products. Aerosols have become quite popular and today are used for most any type of pest control. Aerosols are ready to use. Their packaging is unique in that each can is both a storage container and a sprayer combined. That being said, there are some practical guidelines you should follow regarding their storage and use. Furthermore, some safety equipment might be needed during the application depending on where you will be using the aerosol and the type of application you make. At this time, we carry many types of aerosol products. Our customers commonly ask us how to store them. Other common questions relate to the use of aerosols around children and pets, as well as kitchens and other sensitive areas in the home. In this video, I'll be talking about these concerns and hopefully will address any questions you might have. If I don't, please give us a call at 1-800-877-7290. Aerosols are unique for a couple of reasons. One, they're ready to use and require no mixing. Two, they're stored in pressurized cans. The good news is that these cans contain very little active ingredient. That means less of a hazard and potential for exposure. However, because the cans are pressurized, and since most contain petroleum solvents, storage and safe handling is important. Like any aerosol, the contents of the can are under pressure. For this reason, it's important that you store them at room temperature. In other words, avoid extreme heat. Additionally, like all other pesticides, you should store them where children and pets won't have access. This should be a storage cabinet on a high shelf, somewhere in the home where it's cool and protected. This pertains to all aerosol products and most any pesticide we sell. The pre-application preparation you do will depend on which type of aerosol you're going to use. Aerosols come in three general types. For the purpose of this video, we'll refer to them as either crack and crevice, space spray, or pinstream wasp freeze type aerosol. Crack and crevice aerosols are mostly used for specific treatments to tiny spaces where insects are likely to hide. They generally come with a thin tube stemming from the nozzle. This tube will be used to inject the aerosol. Site locations where crack and crevice aerosols are mostly used will be baseboards, window and door frames, up under house siding, or inside cabinets and pantries. Space spray aerosols are mostly used for flying insects and applied as a space spray to open areas. Nozzles on such aerosols are generally producing small micron-sized particles and treatments are usually very quick and barely detectable. Pinstream or jet freeze aerosols like wasp freeze pump out large doses of product quickly. Most of these cans have nozzles that are similar in performance to fire extinguishers in that they can pump a lot of material rapidly and usually with more pressure than either crack and crevice or space spray type aerosols. In fact, most wasp freeze cans can empty in under a minute if sprayed continuously, and they typically have a long reaching spray pattern that can shoot 10 feet or more. As part of the pre application routine when getting ready to spray with an aerosol, we always recommend that children and pets be removed from rooms about to be treated. If spraying outside, be sure to keep them a good 50 feet away to avoid drift from the wind or breeze. If spraying in the home, treat rooms one at a time and allow each to ventilate following the application. A good rule of thumb is to wait 30 to 60 minutes following the treatment to allow the area to settle before letting children and pets back in. Lastly, here are some safety guidelines for the person doing the treatment. Most aerosols we sell do not require any specific safety equipment to be worn. That being said, you might want to consider wearing something based largely on which type of aerosol you are applying and where the application is about to take place. Since most of our aerosols will require attaching a nozzle to the top of the can, wearing rubber or disposable gloves for this setup is suggested. Wearing gloves allows the applicator to get the nozzle attached without having to worry about any spray that might contact them during this setup. It's also smart to wear gloves when treating with crack and crevice or jet stream type aerosols. Gloves like these rubber ones will do. Disposable surgical gloves are ideal. 
During the application, dust masks or respirators are generally not needed when you're treating in open areas. Examples of such areas would be outside when spraying a wasp freeze product or misting for flies or mosquitoes. When making such applications, you can usually locate yourself upwind and avoid direct contact from the spray or spray drift. But if you're doing crack and crevice work in a tight area, like a pantry or closet, and expect to be in this tight area for a while, wearing a respirator would be smart. This ensures you don't have to breathe airborne odors for any length of time, which in turn will enable you to do the job completely and properly without interruption. It's also suggested to wear a respirator when entering a crawl space or attic. In these environments, the risk of other contaminants being present is high, and a respirator can prove helpful at removing these unseen irritants. Eye protection might be warranted, especially if you will be spraying close to your face, above your line of sight, or in tight quarters. Standard safety glasses are fine. If needed, full face shields like this will provide complete protection. In summary, the use of any aerosol we sell can be applied safely in and around the home. Be sure to store aerosol cans up high and away from children and pets. Be sure to keep people and pets out and away from the areas you're treating during the application process. Once applied in the area allowed to ventilate, people and pets can re-enter without worry or concern when applications are done properly. As always, consult the label of any product you're about to use to ensure safe handling. And if you have any questions regarding its use or storage, please give us a call at 1-800-877-7290. Thanks for watching.